Tehran's drone program is hardly new, however, in fact, it dates back to the 1980s war of attrition with Iraq and rests on a decades-long significant research and development R&D, effort. Iran's unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV, strategy is aggressive, Farsi al Arabiya, April 23, 2021. It mainly focuses on utilizing UAVs to support the government's capabilities and strengthen its proxy forces abroad. Led by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, and its drone maker CODS Aviation Industries, CHI, some of Iran's existing drone technologies are developed from reverse engineering Western systems that have crashed or landed on or near Iranian territory, including the ones allegedly intercepted or captured near its coast. For example, some of the Iranian government's most sophisticated systems, including the Shad 141 and 191, are modeled after the American RQ-171 Sentinel UAV that crashed in Iran back in late 2011, Iran Press, December 16, 2020. Complementing Iran's proxy warfare, these drones have also been provided to the Houthis in Yemen and Hezbollah in Lebanon. As a result, Iranian drones have proliferated Middle Eastern battlefields. Although open-source intelligence on the specifics on Iran's drone strategy is limited, Tehran has certainly developed a large-scale domestic production base, with a rapid production manufacturing cycle. Iran's current portfolio includes even an advanced suicide drone, Arash-2, that can strike Tel Aviv, which would pose an imminent threat to the West, Tehran Times, September 12. Iranian drones are proliferating rapidly, and this trend is not limited to the Ukrainian battlefield. Successfully curtailing Tehran's rise as a drone exporter will not only depend on boosting counter-drone capabilities, but also drawing a detailed map of Iran's global military-industrial network. This network is prominent in the developing world in fragile states, which the West will have to keep on its radar. In the past, Iran has successfully inserted itself into conflict zones and fragile states by providing its military systems to proxies. Iranian drone systems have proved to be high-value strategic assets for Tehran's proxy allies, especially Hezbollah, which changed the power dynamics in their favor in asymmetrical conflicts against, for example, Israel. The fact that Iranian drones are also now in Venezuelan bases is another alarming factor for U.S. counterterrorism strategy. Iran and Venezuela have signed a 20-year cooperation roadmap, which likely includes exchanges in drone production. Their military strategic relations are improving fast, as exemplified by the approximately 80 Iranian defense companies which participated in the Iran-Venezuela Industrial Scientific Expo Fair in Caracas between September 16-19, Dialogo Americas, October 25. The factors propelling the Iranian military's industrial complex, and specifically its drone systems, are not limited to finding rogue clients. Another important aspect is the international production facilities of the Iranian government. In the past decade, Iran has built drone manufacturing factories and maintenance facilities in conflict-ridden and fragile states in developing countries, including Venezuela, Syria and, most recently, Tajikistan. The factory in Dushanbe is particularly crucial because it marks the first official and open announcement of an international Iranian new of production line, Eurasia Daily Monitor, June 14. It is also a significant step that shows Iran is striving to expand its footprint in Central Asia and saturate the regional market with its own new of solutions before Turkey or other NATO allies are able to do the same.
Tajikistan's potential purchase of Iranian drones would directly escalate tensions in the region, especially vis-a-vis -vis Turkey's ally, Kyrgyzstan. As Kyrgyzstan hosts a Turkish TV2 base and is a fresh customer for the Turkish-produced Akinciu of Bomber, Turkey and Kyrgyzstan share significant military strategic ties that cause concern for Iran, if not also Iran's ally, Russia, and Adolu Agency, September 13. After Tajikistan, the Iranian drones have also entered the Armenian market. In short, this demonstrates Tehran is using drone sales to assert influence in the broader Central Asian and Turkic region and position itself as an alternate option to Turkish drone solutions that are becoming increasingly popular in the region, especially after their success in the Second Karabakh War, which featured Turkey's ally, Azerbaijan, defeating Iran's ally, Armenia, largely because of Azerbaijan's zoo of dominance, heck, October 20. Having Iranian drones crop up on NATO's doorstep is not only a threat to Turkey and its regional allies, but a threat to the collective security of the transatlantic alliance.